How's it going guys? The Shape of Horror back with another video in a completely different location. I am in my living room right now because I have a big unboxing, um, a first time in the channel. Probably some of the only times I'll do this because I'm not too much of a collector of these type of things, but to give you some rundown, um, I've been watching a lot of haunters and a lot of Halloween enthusiasts during my uh, time on YouTube. Not just when I started this channel, but dating all the way back when I was like younger. One thing that always intrigued me was the Halloween store walkthrough videos. I thought those were uh, pretty cool. Gave me ideas of what to expect in Halloween stores. And not only that, um, the animatronic showcases. So showing off the animatronics in store or at home. Though I am not a haunter by any means, um, it's still helpful to uh, get an idea of the product. So. Uh, to all you haunters that do that, thank you. Buying them isn't really my thing. I don't really have too much space. I still don't have too much space, but uh, for the time being, I, I bought a few this year. Um, picked up three, um, made sure you know they were uh, storage friendly because again, I don't have too much room. What finally got me to want to buy an animatronic versus years prior is most of them are uninteresting. Um, in modern years, uh, especially with like Spirit, they've downgraded a lot. And I don't know if it's just like the companies they work with or what, or they just like, I don't know, I'm not, like I said, I'm not too knowledgeable with animatronics, but it just seems like the quality isn't there compared to like stuff like older Jimmy stuff and like older Morbid Enterprises, which, which uh, rest in peace Morbid. But this year, um, Spirit stepped up their game just a tiny bit. I will say though, Home Depot and Party City did a really good job this year with their stuff, but um, and I did pick up one of each from those uh, retailers, but um, I just want to showcase the Spirit thing I got. Give me one second. I bought this year that I'll be doing a review during this Halloween season. The licensed Art the Clown Spirit animatronic. Now I found out that both Party City and Spirit were doing an animatronic. I was so excited. Uh, Terrifier has been one of those movies where I just not love it as a good film, but it's like I love it as a fun film. Originally I was going to get the Party City one, but as soon as Spirit showed off theirs early, I changed my mind, especially on the price point. Now this bad boy does retail about $200, which isn't too bad compared to the other stuff that they sell that are super overpriced. But you are getting your money's worth, I think. Um, we're gonna see that as I unbox this for the first time. Uh, we can take a look at the box. I am in my pajamas right now. Um, I am too lazy to put on actual clothing, so uh, forgive me. Here we have the front of the box. You get a picture of Art, uh, what he should be looking like. It includes the uh, sunflower glasses, which is a part of the second movie for like one scene. It just became this like iconic uh, thing. Licensed by Terrifier 1. Um, and then just gives you a description. Uh, head and torso move left to right and hand waves. Makes horn blowing noises. Includes removal of flower glasses. Stands six foot two. So this is, this is about a life-size animatronic basically. Here's the side. Same thing, um, here's the back where it just shows you all the stuff it comes with or what, or whatever. Usually spirit props have like backstories or whatever, this doesn't, which I mean, I'm okay with. I'm not into the spirit Halloween lore. Here's more images of that. Uh, that's it for the box. Now, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna make a time lapse of me putting this together. Um, you're gonna be seeing me unbox it, try to put it together. If you want to see an actual video of people getting descriptive while they're unboxing this, um, I suggest watching something else because I'm not one of those people. But uh, yeah, uh, let's get started on this time lapse. We bring the boom! That's what we do! We bring the boom! We bring the boom to you! We bring the boom! We bring the boom to everyone! We bring the boom! Your favorite father!
right, um, finished setting them up. All I have to do is put in the adapter, but um, this looks scary as fuck. I'm not gonna <laughs> lie to you. I think he's just, I, I think he actually is moving. Uh, before we turn them on, I just wanted to give a good look at art. And uh, now mine, so giving you an idea, this is a latex mask, which I think over time it will decay if not uh, kept properly. It should be fine for mine, but um, the nose is a little effed up, but I don't, I don't know why I said that like I'm censoring myself. It's a little fucked up, but it's fine. I think I can fix that. Um, the hat is attached to the ski mask. Um, they do use a real horn, but it, uh, you can't like squeeze. It's like molded in. So this part's kind of like real. Everything else is plastic. You got the hand. Um, the shoes are plastic. Uh, here's another look at the face. Stands about six foot two, which is like scary. This is intimidating. I'm not gonna lie. Like after setting them up, um, even though I've seen them in stores, it looks so fucking scary. But yeah, all we have to do next is, uh, oh my god, it's like moving back and forth. It's scaring the shit out of me. Uh, next we have to do is just put on the adapter, and uh, yeah, we can take a look at how he is. All right, so I plugged them in. I am fucking petrified. All right, yeah, something's fucked up. Um, uh, okay, so I'm gonna try to fix them the best I can. Um, at least, you know what, at least I have something to put in the title to get more clicks, so, you know, let's try this again. Alright, so, the only thing wrong with them is the hand is supposed to wave with each honk, um... It's plugged in right, I, I know that, but for some reason it is not uh, waving. Right, let's try this again. Alright, I guess that part's broken. Um, other than that, really cool prop. I do like the sculpt on the head. I like how intimidating it looks. Um, everything about it is cool. I think like this is basically like the best they could come up with with Art the Clown, I think. Um, the Party City one did a good job too, um, representing art. Um, I think you know Spirit and uh, Party City did a good job. I, I do prefer this one over Party Cities. There's nothing really much else I can say about this. I mean, I'll let me just play one more time for you. Yeah, I mean they did a really good job. I think this probably is one of their best licensed props, and they're one of their best props of this year. The quality and then like everything about it, it looks just looks really really damn cool i will say um the corpse ride ones are probably their best one just they just look movie accurate and maybe con candy dan i don't know I'm, I'm not again i'm not a prop guy um i forgot who made this specifically i'll put it somewhere in the video uh, who made this but yeah um it's the end of the season make sure to grab this before it's gone i think you can still get it online I'm pretty sure they'll have this for like years like they did with the same animatronic. But yeah, really good prop. Worth the money, you know, minus the, you know. This is creepy as hell. I'm gonna put it back in the box uh, after I'm done recording a few things. But yeah, I've been The Shape of Horror. Thank you guys so much for watching and more Terrifier stuff to come. Um, see you guys in the next video. Pshh.